time I've had a chance to meet you, I didn't realize just how tiny you are. I mean, I saw you standing I, next to Blake, who's a tall dude, but I didn't quite realize that. I'm very small. I'm like probably right here to him. Yeah, exactly. He's so tall. Well, was it intimidating working with him? I mean, you, you came off of The Voice, you were on his team, you won the show, and you had to work with him week after week. It was honestly not intimidating. He was so welcoming and so family-like. Mm-hmm. I just felt so comfortable around him. So I think it was it was just amazing getting, I mean, yeah, I mean, he's Blake Shelton, and it's amazing getting to work with him and hearing what he has to say about my singing and things like that. But it was just, it was incredible. Is there anything that he said to you that, I don't want to say hurt your feelings, but you know, because you're so young and, and so green mm-hmm. in the business and he's been doing it for so long that maybe you took and misinterpreted or said, wow, that was, and then you thought back and thought, oh, I get what he was saying. Does that make sense? Yeah, that, that makes sense. But I don't think I've had that moment where I, I got offended by anything he said mm-hmm. or just kind of like, oh, oh okay. Um, but he, he, I, I understood where what he was saying sometimes, and um, it was cool getting to hear what I need to do to become a step higher, right. and and just things like that. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna listen to you because you're awesome. <laughs> right. And don't tell him that though. You just make his ego that much worse. Yeah. Don't tell Blake that he's awesome because otherwise we'll never hear the end of it. Hey, everybody else thinks I'm awesome. You should too. <laughs> oh God. Just kidding. Oh man. You've you've had an awful. It's a, it's been a whirlwind. For it you. Has. I mean, because you think about it, here you are the, at, at the CMAs with a record contract and a song on the radio and, and massive TV exposure. And th- you're better known in here than some artists that have been in town for years. And That's when you get, incredible. when you get right down to it, and because it's happened so fast. I mean, if you, and at your age, have you been able to process the fact that it's happened as fast as it has? I, I've tried to take a moment to really sink everything in and it's going really slow, but I'm just taking it one step at a time. Mm-hmm. And kind of embracing the moment while it's here, and just little things like that. Um, it's so crazy uh, knowing I won the voice and just things like that. I'm like, oh my god, I can't even believe I'm here right now. Right. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you're walking around in the same room as, as Darius Rucker and Lee Bryce and all oh. these guys. You've been hearing on the radio for years, and you think, wow, I'm, I'm kind of a contemporary of theirs now. Exactly. I'm like, oh. this is my first time actually. Right. Being here at um, the awards and. And everything like that. So this is this is unbelievable. If you have you met, is there, is there somebody that you haven't met yet that you'd want to? Carrie. Probably dozens. But if you could pick, if you could pick just one, who would it be? Carrie Underwood. Really, you haven't met Carrie yet. Not yet. Oh, I'm her on speed dial. We'll call. I'm just kidding. Oh. I, do, I do not. <laughs> but if you're, I mean, if you're going to be at the awards tomorrow, I bet you, I bet you, you cross paths with her. Yeah, I mean, hopefully. You've got, and you've got a little bit of common ground when you get right down to it. I mean, Carrie having coming off of Idol, and you haven't exactly. coming off with the voice. Yeah, she'd probably be able to help you navigate the the <laughs> shark infested waters pretty well because she's that, been there before. Yeah, of course. All right, male singer that you haven't met yet that you'd want to. Ooh, I've met a lot. Mm-hmm. Um. I mean, I I saw George Strait from uh, afar or something from like that. From afar, yeah. but I'd love to meet him. Oh man, of course he's the king of country. He's he's the greatest of mm-hmm. all time. Well, let's talk about you as opposed to the people that you like to meet. You've got a, a song on the radio right now and an album coming out soon. It's like this month, isn't it? November twenty fifth. Yeah, just a couple of weeks. Yes. So no pressure. The 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 Tuesday before Thanksgiving or the week before exactly. Thanksgiving <laughs> when everybody's going to be going out spending their money. Yes. Yeah. So what what I mean, you've had to put it together pretty quick, I would imagine. Yes. Maybe quicker than than other records would get made. Maybe quicker than your next one will be. But what <laughs> uh, what can we expect? Um, man, there's there's a lot of songs that I I chose I haven't written yet. Right. Um, but there's it's also different sound and it has unique sound to every song and it's just it's gonna be a refreshing sound to radio and just hopefully. Oh, you're putting a fresh coat of paint on our ah. business. I like it. I like where you're going. Yay! I'm I'm excited for everybody to hear it though. Um, we're excited to hear it too and enjoy the rest of your you know Thank CMA you. week. Your very first. Yes. And, and may you meet Carrie Underwood tomorrow night too. Oh, hopefully.